Alright Geeks, we're doing some great giveaways on the channel, so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you what to do and how you can win. Sorry I'm late. All right, special shout out goes to Best Buy for letting me pre-order this within five minutes of the announcement. And then on the day it's supposed to ship to get here by release day shipping, telling me that there's a delay at like six in the evening. Not telling me what the delay is or what's gonna be done about it. But also, while it's delayed, simultaneously letting people order it that day and get it within two days shipping. Shout out to MCU Collector 24 for letting me know about that. Of course, by the time I got in, it was too late. They were sold out. I had to wait for the restock. So I just got my beast yesterday. Ridiculous. All right, so you got the retro packaging. You see you got Grey Beast looking like he did in, uh, I believe it was the late 70s for a little bit. And of course, on the back of the box, they got this straight up retro picture. Looks like my third grade son drew it. And what was it say back there? While the beast is incredibly strong and astonishingly agile, he's also one of the world's leading experts in biochemistry. When he's not fighting evil alongside the X-Men, he devotes his time to expanding the frontiers of human knowledge. And you see a picture of him on the right, checking out a book. Also, another shout out to Best Buy for bending the card up to all high hell. It's a good thing I don't keep him on card. All right, so Beast in, ooh, uh, Beast in his, all right, no pun intended. You know, I always say this. Beast in his cage, you check him out, he's got an alternate head with all white eyes, looking angry, not as jovial and friendly right there. He's got a biochemistry book there with a nice little graph. Then you see below that, he's got his lab glasses. Then he's got a second set of hands. He has a closed fist and what looks like an open hand for doing a handstand. Beast booty shot. All right, so here we get a close-up look of the accessories. Behold, Dr. Henry McCoy, or as they say here in Georgia, Hank McCoy. How you doing, boy? All right, so, hmm, interesting. The head sculpt's decent. It does look like the comic book. I remember that from being a kid, but. I gotta go back and check, I don't know. His head looks like he's kinda sitting low on his shoulders. Maybe that's a more ape-like look, cause I know that a lot of larger apes, their heads do sit in like that. So maybe it's on purpose, but I don't remember it looking like that in the comic book. All right, so top of his head, he's got blue hair. And he's got his custom, you know, call him Wolverine hairdo. So the First, you can see it's wavy and carved in, but it's not, it's all gray here and it's like a dark grayish black here. Then you've got the fur coming off the shoulders. It's not as black as it looks in the video, but here are the joints. There's no uh, fur carving, so I don't know if they could have done that. It probably would have stopped the arm from moving. All right, so sweet. He's got the deep butterfly joints here. You can see fur carving continues on the back. Uh, it's a bluish gray here in the middle. I've got some white paint on mine. You see he's got a bicep swivel. Looks like double jointed elbows. We'll check that in a second. All right, looking at his legs here. Got the furry ankles, fur flowing backwards, all carved in. Does have thigh swivel, blue trunks. And he's got articulated toes. You can wave hello and goodbye. All right, so do we have the exorcist here? Yep, head does go all the way around, very loose. Really loose on there. Does it tilt to the side? Yeah, it tilts a little bit. More of a spin, I'd say. As it's spinning, it leans. But again, it's very loose. 
That's as far back as the head goes, so he can look up a little bit. I guess that would be considered straight ahead. That's him looking down. Not much range there. All right, so range of motions of the arms. You can see shoulder does go parallel to the trapezius, so you get about a 90 degree angle there. Now with the butterfly joint, does go way, way back. You can see here, I mean, there's not much he can't reach. He can face forward to the stove and reach back and grab something out of the cabinet. That butterfly joint is crucial. As you can see, he can reach way past his face. That's good. That's nice. And he does have the double jointed elbows. You can see there. And bicep swivel. It's loose too. Um, I don't know if it's so loose that it'll affect him from holding stuff, but it's, it's got no tightness at all. You can see the other one. Yeah, the other one is just as loose. How about those wrists? Let's see, the wrist does bend down. It's got a little snap to it, not too loose. His fingers are soft. I'm used to them being harder than that. This wrist does go all the way down. It's got the hinge joint. That one is much stiffer than that one. Matter of fact, that's stiffer than anything else I've touched on it. <laughs> all right, so he is on an upper torso rocker. He can swivel a little bit. He also got the abdominal crunch joint, so he can click forward twice. He gets one good click back, so even though there's only one click, it's got good range on it. Waist does not spin whatsoever. Does spin up here a little bit. I wonder if it goes all the way around. I don't know what kind of joint that is. I don't want to snap it. You can go all the way around. You're good. It's nice. Uh oh, see that head is loose. All right, just look at the bottom half. He does have a full 360 on the thighs. Oh, those are nice and tight. Good. Finally, something's tight. You get 90 degrees there. You can almost kick his butt. And again, we do have the waving toes. Right there he is with his foot fully extended and his toes pointed straight out so you can see the kind of range he gets. Big time split. As to be expected. Good. If I remember correctly, Dark Beast didn't get a split this good. Well, I might be wrong. You can correct me in the comments. There is no calf swivel. It's all solid. There's this alternate head. It's kind of scary. It looks more like a werewolf. Ah! It is a good sculpt though. But it does kind of look like a werewolf. Maybe it's just me. There we go. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Much better. Looks like he'll be the delight of the party. And there he is, Hank McCoy, getting some good reading in, like all professors do. Those glasses, uh, they really didn't put anywhere on the head for the stems to sit. They're kind of cotched on his ear, so they look kind of funny. And they more look like goggles than glasses, but I mean, they pass, especially from a distance. But that open hand actually has a curved in thumb, so it's perfect for holding the book. A lot of times they give you accessories and the hands aren't made specifically for it, but you can tell that hand was made specifically for him to hold that book. I think it looks awesome. And here he is with the closed fist and the other open palm. I actually like that. I wasn't going to put him in the video. I figured you guys knew what it looked like, but I was like, hey, let's see. But I like that look. It looks like he's getting ready to pulverize somebody, but he's being really polite about it. All right, so be aware. I was trying to get him to stand up to compare him to Dark Beast, but the joints on my guy are so loose, I couldn't even get him to stand. And check yours. The peg holes at the bottom of his feet are so shallow that pegs can't even fit in there, so it's ridiculous. So I'm actually sitting here holding him next to Dark Beast because I couldn't get him to stand up, even with the peg stand. So as you can see, he's about the same size. It looks like they use the same upper torso. The legs, um, they look similar, but I guess because of the, you can tell by the hair carvings, they had to use different joints, but they got the same knee joints and basically the same toes, just that uh, 
Gray Beast has white toenail polish and Dark Beast doesn't have any. So yeah. And Dark Beast joints are much stiffer and he's easy to pose. I actually had him doing a hand stab on my shelf. But this guy here, no go. I'm gonna have to play with him some more to get him to stand up. I might just have to have him stand up and straighten my collection. All right, so thanks guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we do have uh, two 1,000 subscriber giveaways going. So I don't, I don't want people to get confused. There are two different giveaways. So at 1,000, I'm gonna do two drawings and they're for two different prize packs. Make sure you check out our giveaway playlist so that way you can make sure you're entered to win. We're giving away some good Marvel Legends. All right guys, till next time. Beast out.